Hey there, my name's Emily and I'm going to be guiding you through a vinyasa yoga class today. I have a little bit of a thing in my throat that I'm recovering from, so pardon if there's any coughing. <laughs> vinyasa yoga is about connecting your breath with the movements of the body. So I'm going to guide you through a yoga class today that helps you do just that. And in effect, it will also aim to connect you to a deeper sense of flow and a deeper sense of rhythm within your entire life helping you find your own natural cycles so that you can take what you've drawn and built up energy-wise from this class and connect it to your life outside of the mat, to your relationships, your personal life, and helping you connect to the natural rhythms and cycles of nature around you, the environment. Um, human beings are naturally water-based creatures. We're two-thirds water, so in effect we flow with the same rhythms that the oceans and the rivers and the rest of nature also flows with. So coming into a seated position today, letting yourself come into a relaxed, steady seat and tuning in with your breath, coming into a place of presence and within and between all the cycles of your life, come to a recognition that you are here right now. And you always have the chance to come back to this moment right here. No matter what's going on around you, allow your breath to draw you into this moment today. Releasing any concerns about <clears throat> the past, what's happened earlier today or earlier in the week. Letting go of any obligations for the future or worries that you may have. Letting yourself be in the moment, this moment. You are in your body. You are in this moment and you are still part of the cycles and flows of nature. The cycles of the earth and the cosmos. So we're going to honor this present moment today in this yoga practice of flow and movement by drawing our hands to our heart center, our third eye, and up to the sky as we chant the sacred sound of Om. Drawing your hands back to your heart center, prayer position. Closing your eyes and drawing your inner eye into your heart center. Feeling the rhythm of your heart. Deepening your breaths and feeling the rhythms of your breath as they naturally want to move through your body, through your lungs. As you exhale, feel yourself sinking down into the earth. As you inhale, Breathing up your spine and up your crown, clearing away for the movement of energy today in your body, for the flow. Drawing your hands back down and opening your eyes. Coming to a standing position on your mat. Placing your feet hips width 
apart. Lift your toes up to the sky and let there be space between your toes. And as you slowly delineate them down to the earth. Feel yourself fully supported on the three ball points of your feet behind your big toes and behind your littlest toes and squarely on your heel.
exhale. Feel your heels firmly planted down on the earth. As you inhale, find the length in your spine. Draw your right hand to the inside of your right knee. As you inhale, your right arm up to the sky. Opening up your spine, increasing your flexibility, your range of motion here, nurturing your tree of life. Finding your breath here, breathing into your belly. to your heart center with your palms touching. Left arm to the inside of your left knee. Right arm reaches up and back. Wrap around with your left arm and clasp your palms together. Clasp your fingers. Again, opening and reaching through your spine. From your lower back all the way up to the crown of your head. Opening and creating greater availability for the natural flow of energy within your body. Exhale and release. Coming back into your heart center, pressing your knees open. Pulsing your palms out and in as you move open your knees and your hips inhaling and exhaling as you draw your hands towards your body release your breath inhale as you push them out to the floor, coming back and finding, a, finding yourself coming into a seated position once again, Sukhasana. Rooting down through your sits bones. Feel your sits bones heavy, sinking into the earth, connecting you to the ground like a magnet. Lengthening and extending your body with your breath. Placing your palms down on your knees. We're going to come into some cat and cow stretches with the spine. So drawing your shoulders back and your sternum and chest out and your head just a bit back. Coming into cow as you inhale and as you exhale arching your spine back, coming into cat, shoulders forward, chin down to your chest. And we're gonna begin breathing with this movement as well, using the hara breath. So when you're ready, inhale through your nose, coming into cow, and exhale through your mouth. As you arch your spine back into cat. This is actually called Camel's Breath. <sighs> Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, <sighs> arching your spine.
breathing. It's essentially the first thing we do when we're born. And it's the last thing we do before we die. So it's our life force that keeps us harnessed here. important to nurture our body with our breath. Continue with this breath, and this movement. Let us not forget to breathe here. Through your nose and out through your mouth. Inhaling, coming back to center. Opening your spine up, opening your palms up to the sky to receive. And finding your natural three-part Dirga breath, allow your breath to flow just as you want it to, just as your breath wants it to, maybe not as you want it to, but as your breath naturally flows. to come into a breath called Kapalabhati, skull polishing breath. This breathing can often increase energy, but if you have a cold or any sort of congestion, sinus problems, um, also if you <clears throat> have any other issues with your intestines and you find that forceful breathing might not be the best idea for you, I just advise you to continue with your three-part breathing or find another um, method of breathing that works better for you. So Kapalabhati breathing involves a forceful exhalation through your nose and a passive inhalation. So you don't have to do anything when you're inhaling. So placing your hands on your belly, notice how it feels to forcefully exhale through your nose. Your belly should be pulling in and up on its own. Apply no effort here. should feel like you're trying to blow a bug out of your nose. This is also called skull polishing breath because it helps clear the cobwebs out of your brain if you're feeling a little foggy or murky. Um, you can also try to use alternate nostril kapalabhati or you could try a more soothing integrative breath called nani shodhana. So placing your hands in your belly, let us come into some kapalabhati breaths. breath we're going to begin twisting from side to side 
drawing our left elbow to the front, and then our right elbow, opposite elbow to the back, with the breath. So as we forcefully exhale, we're going to twist to either side. Find your own natural pace here. You don't have to follow my cues. You can go faster, you can go slower. Just notice what your body needs today. Tuning in, tuning in to the rhythms, motions, cycles. By tuning into your body, it helps you kind of ride the waves of momentum and movement throughout the rest of your life. release. Palms up to receive. Taking in a deep breath all the way up into your ribs. Exhaling that breath. Releasing any energies, any sensations, anything that you want to move into the earth today. Release through your body. Send that out with a breath. And noticing how you feel. Finding a smile on your face as you come to a standing position on the top of your mat. Finding a solid mountain pose, pressing into the ball points of your feet, hips width, um, feet hips width apart. Lengthening up and tucking your tailbone down. Reaching your arms out to the sides. And pressing your palms to either wall on the side. Delineating each finger down one by one. Palms touch the walls once again. And again, slowly delineate your fingers as you continue pressing out through your palm. Now drawing your palms into a fist, give your fist some circles to the left. Rotations, opening up your wrist. Other side. And back to the right. Cross your palms out once more. Fingers out to the sides, palms to the front of the room. Sweep your arms up, lengthening up your arms, electrifying your fingers, and bending at your hips. Forward fold. Bending at your knees, while your belly to touch your thighs as you find some traction in your spine as you release your head down to the earth. Releasing all of your breath here. This breath and this posture is a natural anxiety releasing, anxiety releasing posture. So if you're feeling stressed out, anxious, overwhelmed, just fold down and release your breath. 
straighten your legs, coming up halfway, palms to your shins, look to the front of the room. Bending your knees, reaching up, up to the sky, straightening your knees, reaching up, palms to touch, hips to the front of the mat, bend back, open your spine. Swan dive once again, forward fold, bending at your knees, and straightening your legs if you like. Palms to your shins halfway up, shoulders back. Bending your knees and reaching up. Straightening up, pressing your hips, arching back and folding once again. Ah, big, hard breath through your mouth as you fold down. Inhale halfway, bending at your knees. This time drawing your hands to your palm center. Pressing into your feet, firmly supported around your knee area your thighs parallel, tucking your tailbone, inhaling up your spine, and drawing the left tricep to your right bicep, twisting open, open your spine, breathe into your legs, break down your legs, into the earth, open up all the way to your crown, sending awareness to every part of your body right now. What's your jaw doing? Is it clenched? Taking a deep breath. And exhaling, drawing your left foot back. Keeping, keeping your palms together. And your spine twisted. Make sure that your left heel is pressed to the back of the mat. Continue to open up, inhaling, lengthening, and exhaling, rooting down, inhaling, opening your arms, and smiling, smiling at, your, at the sky above you. Smiling at the sky and all the cycles within this planet solar system. Exhaling. Releasing. Palms to either side of your foot. Turn your left knee down. Arms up to the sky. Bending back. Palms to touch. Finding your breath here. Exhaling. Palms to either side of your right foot. Left knee up. Right foot back to meet your left. Now draw your left foot up. Right foot down. Inhaling your arms to the sky. Straightening your right foot, inhaling, drawing your right tricep to the outside of your left thigh, and twisting, and finding that open space once again on the opposite side. Right heel all the way to the back of the mat, inhaling, opening, and exhaling, rooting down. The next inhale, open your palms up. up and smiling at the sky. Drawing your hands, palms to touch. Drawing your right leg back up to meet the left, about hips width apart, and keep this twist. Keep sending the breath where it needs to go. Finding your 
your own rhythm. to breathe here. Again, bending your elbows coming down about three quarters way and pressing back up. This time, bending your knees and begin pushing into your palms, straightening your back. Coming into downward facing dog as you straighten your knees, turn your heels down towards the mat. Pressing your palms, pressing your feet. Walk out that dog. Drawing alternate heels to the mat. Pressing through your palms, all the way down your arms. Pulling your ribs in and your belly in and up. Connecting with your breath. Fresh paint, roll back down into plank. Taking a breath in as you find this posture. And exhale, turning over to the outside of your left foot, keeping your hands firmly in place on the ground, evenly pressing, drawing your left hip down to the earth. Exhale back to center. breaths, inhaling and exhaling, drawing your right hip down to the outside of your right foot, inhaling up, and exhaling, other side, continue pulsing here. yourself shine here. Let your spirit shine here and do that by connecting with your breath. As many cultures equate spirit and the breath as one. Pressing back into downward facing dog. Heels towards the earth. Inhaling your right foot between your palms. Steadying your feet, pressing your left heel back, rooting the ball point of your foot into the earth. As you press down, reach up, steady with your breath. Inhale your arms up. Make sure your left knee is up towards the sky, right knee right over that ankle. Hips squared, Virajasana one. Inhaling, lengthen, and exhaling, folding over, reaching out, 
and draw your hands back as you fold on top of your thigh. Inhaling up, finding length. Exhaling with the breath, folding and reaching back with your arms. Inhaling up and finding your own natural rhythm, your own wave here. A single raindrop doesn't have much effect, but if you have enough raindrops, you can make big changes like the Grand Canyon. You can create a lot with regular, consistent connection with your body, strengthening and opening your body, just learning how to maneuver it better. You might not be able to do this posture, and that's okay. Or if you haven't practiced it, also. Exhaling when you're ready. Turn your hands back down to the earth. Pressing up through your right foot. together and inhaling your arms up. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, folding back down. Lifting up your left arm to the sky. Drawing your left arm back down to the earth. Bending your left knee, inhaling your right arm up to the sky. available for you, 
Coming up into Bird of Paradise by pressing your left foot, bending at your left knee just a bit. And slowly, carefully, pressing into the earth, burning your left leg as you lift your right leg up to the sky. Straightening it up. Breathing. Firming up your bottom leg. Sending the breath and awareness into your body. Pointing your right toes. Inhaling. Lengthening. Exhaling. Sinking down. One last breath here. And as you exhale, releasing your right foot back down to the earth. Into some NP coat sleeves, shaking out the effects of this posture here. Imagine your arms are coat sleeves, just hitting your back of your back gently. Inhaling up, bending down, swan diving, halfway up, jump or step back, plank. Pressing up, downward facing down. Give me a deep breath. <sighs> and exhaling. Inhaling your left leg between your palms. Steadying up your feet. Pressing through the back heel into the ball point of your back foot. Pressing into your front foot as you steady your legs. Square your hips and inhale up to the sky. Reach and firm your posture, sinking down as you exhale, reaching up with your breath. And again, inhaling, elongate and exhale, folding over towards your thigh as you reach forward and back with your breath. Finding your own natural wave. The ocean's waves are always changing their pace. So just notice what pace you're at today with your movements. You feel like moving fast, faster than me, or maybe way slower than me. There's no right way to move here. Honor your body, your own cycles and rhythms. Now, honoring your own cycles and rhythms is what allows you to be present and to always come back, no matter where life takes you. So you don't take an antidepressant medication once and expect to get better. You have to take it regularly. And it's the same with yoga. You don't just do yoga once and expect to immediately restore your body and mind, though that does often happen. What you really need is to consistently tune in with your own cycles and rhythms through the practice of yoga. Find your breath. Inhaling. Now your next exhale. Let that be your last reaching back up and drawing your right foot up and placing your right foot on your upper thigh bending your left leg firming into the earth coming into standing pigeon with your palms on your chest all the way up to your ribs, and as you exhale, straightening your, actually first folding down over your bent left leg, fingers to the earth, straightening out your left leg and folding down.
up, halfway up, and bending at your left knee, coming down, preparing for toe stand on the other side, pressing into your ball point, finding the drishti point in front of you to harness your gaze, and allow your breath to also be a focal point for this posture today. Finding that point, drawing your hands to your heart center, and finding your balance. Ready, release. And press back up with your left foot, releasing your right to meet your left. Standing back up, coming into empty coat sleeves again. And folding down into Uttanasana, forward fold. as you bend your right leg. Exhaling back down to the ground, reach your right arm up, bending your left leg. One more on each side. This time keeping your right arm up and drawing it back behind you, clasping on your left upper thigh. As you draw your left arm between your legs and over to the left and behind your left leg, clasping your hands behind you. Straightening your legs as best you can. And if it's available for you today, trying to come up into Bird of Paradise, or not trying to come up, coming up into Bird of Paradise, pressing into your right foot. Firmly engaging your own muscles. Feel them wrapping around your bones tight with awareness. Drawing your left leg up to the sky. Hugging all your muscles and bone into your bones. Muscles hug the midline. Straightening your left foot and pointing your toes. Breath. Inhaling 
back, your arms, palms to touch. This time pressing out your right hip, opening your right shoulder. Exploring the space between forward and back. Turn your right shoulder forward and back. intuitively kind of sense a little bit more about how your body's moving and how your body's posturing. Now finding the space in the middle where you're between two planes of glass. What's the right spot for you? Pressing out through your palms, reaching over. Breathing here. You exhale back to center, palms down, shoulders up and back, reaching your arms up, folding at your waist, forward fold, release your head, hands to shins, head up, flat back, palms to the earth, jump or step back into plank. Finding a steady plank here, lifting your right leg up, pressing out through your heel, draw your heel all the way over to the right. Make sure that you're square on the ball point of your left foot as you pulse back and forth with your right foot, heel extended. Inhale, press out and exhale, back. Inhaling, press out, exhale, back and release. Downward facing dog. breaths here and then exhaling back into plank pressing back through your heels squarely on the ball point of your right foot lift up your left heel pressing out and out to the side as you exhale exhale to the left and inhaling drawing your foot back to center one more back into downward facing dog. Inhaling your left foot up to the sky. I'm sorry, your right foot up to the sky. Squaring your hips. And drawing your right knee up into your chest. Just touch your nose. Exhale, kick back. Knee to nose. Exhale, kick back. And inhale, knee to your right elbow, outside of your right elbow. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, left elbow. Kick back. This time, opening up your hips. Pressing up your right heel and down into the earth with your left heel. Inhale, knee to nose, and exhale back. Inhale, knee up into your belly, turning onto the outside of your left foot, coming up into side plank. Now drawing your right foot behind you, right behind your knee, on the outside of the mat perhaps, reaching your arm up to the sky, and your right arm all the way back, opening up your chest. Wild thing. Exhaling. Palm down to the floor. Pressing back. Downward facing dog. Lifting up your left foot. Kicking back. Hips squared. Left foot up to your nose. Exhale, kick back, inhale. Left foot to your nose. Inhale, your knee to your left elbow. And exhale, kick back. Inhale, right elbow. Exhale, kick back. Knee to nose, inhale. 
kick back. This time, open up your hips. And kick back. Heel press back in. Right heel press down. Take a few deep breaths here. And inhaling your left knee back up to your nose, turning that to the outside of your left, your right foot. Side plank. Drawing your left foot behind your right knee. Opening up your chest, reaching your arm back, wild thing. Exhaling, left arm press back into the mat. Plank again, roll it back, downward dog. Few deep belly breaths here, bending your knees. And sinking your hips back into child's pose. We just got a little bit of fire built up here, so just take a few moments to tune into our breath again and let your breath return to its natural pace. Rocking back and forth. Rock your forehead into the mat. Open your hips and split your movement. Placing your forearms flat on the earth as we come up. Drawing your hips up. Curling your toes under and pressing your hips up, keeping your forearms down. As if you're coming into downward dog, lifting your hips. Straightening your back. Pressing into your forearms. Belly in and up. Puppy pose. From here, making your fingers wide like a starfish, pressing into your palms, exhaling down into Adamukta Svanasana, downward facing dog. Coming back into plank, and drawing your right foot between your palms, straightening your right foot, and drawing your right palm to the inside of your right foot. Left arm up to the sky. Exhaling, release your hands. And come down onto your forearms, bending your right knee, opening up your hips. Warrior one. Straightening your right leg. And exhaling, bending over your right leg. Palms to either side of that knee, down to your shin. No sound to your shin or your knee. Pressing your left arm into the earth and reaching your right arm up for ball triangle. Right arm down, pressing back into downward dog, rolling forward into plank, drawing your left leg up to between your palms, drawing your left arm to the inside of your left leg, reaching your right arm up as you straighten your left leg. Exhaling, right arm on the outside of your foot, bring your foot. As so you inhale up into warrior one, straightening your left leg, bending at your hips, reaching forward and down, nose to your shin or your knee. Right arm to the inside of your left leg, inhale your left arm up. Left 
throw it back down. Drawing your feet back together, folding down. Halfway up, bending your knees, reaching all the way up and back. And reach your arms into heart center. Exhaling your left leg back. Reaching all the way up with your arms as you inhale. Exhale, pressing down. Try um, rotating your back foot 45 to 60 degrees, opening your arms to the front and back of the mat. Three over drops in a two, warrior two. Your knee should, front knee should be right over your front ankle. Lengthening up your spine and sending energy out your fingertips with your breath. Drawing your right arm underneath your left. Drawing your hands into eagle arms, like so. Palms to touch. Drawing them in big circles to the right as you inhale. And exhale. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Stepping your left foot up to the front and over your right leg, twisting all the way around, coming down into Garasana, Eagle Pose. Bending at your left, bending at your right knee, and pressing down into your firmly, you're firmly perched, overlooking the earth. Unfurling your arms, keeping your legs crossed, pressing up into standing but keeping your legs crossed. Let yourself sit down on your crossed legs, coming into Matsya and Mudrasana. So your left leg should be right over your right leg in a seated twist position. So inhaling your arms up and then begin to Rotate at the lumbar spine, then the thoracic spine, and then the cervical spine, all the way over to the left. Turn your right arm to the outside of your left thigh. Fingers in Jhana Mudra. And your left fingers should find a place right behind your buttocks. As you coil your head over to your left, easing out the left side of your left thigh. Breathing carefully into your lungs as you open up your ribs or any costal muscles. So yoga teaches that prolonged holding up postures can cause buried emotion and other unconscious material to surface where it can be seen, felt, and let go of. So bear that in mind today as you hold these postures like this. Inhaling up and exhaling, drawing your left foot up behind you and back into pigeon. Pressing into the earth with your fingers as you inhale up your spine. Draw your shoulders up and back, release. Release with the breath. yourself go and let, release the thinking mind. As the thinking mind takes up so much glucose, the energy that your body uses to process the world around you, the energy that your brain uses to think, it uses a lot of glucose to think. So let yourself just feel this wave of your body. Drawing your back leg up to the sky. 
sky. And if you'd like, reaching back with your left arm, placing your foot in the crux of your elbow as you reach. Your right arm up to the sky, coming to Jana Mudra with your fingers. Lengthening up, fully expressing this posture here. posture and finding what it may be releasing for you or opening for you. Exhaling, releasing your left leg down to the earth. Arms up and exhaling down, pressing your palms down into the earth again. Drawing your hands in front of your knee, safely remove yourself from pigeon. Pulsing a bit forward and back, rocking your knee back to steady position. One. And back down, hands to either side of your foot, stepping back into plank and into downward dog. Exhaling, all of your breath. Inhaling your left foot up between your palms, pressing up and down. Inhaling your arms up and sending electricity through your body down into your feet and up through your arms. Turning your back foot 45 to 60 degrees, opening into warrior two. <coughs> Sending energy down through your feet, up through your spine and your crown, and up through your fingertips. Inhaling up and exhaling your left arm underneath your right into eagle arms. Rotating your eagle arms. Inhaling up and exhaling. Rotating down. And exhale. Inhaling and exhale. Other way. And at the next exhale, drawing your right leg up. Front of you and around, coming into Garasana, full expression. Sinking down, firmly rooted, tucking your tailbone, and finding length at the same time.
clasp it in your elbow. Jhana Mudra is your left arm reaches up, smiling to the sky, smiling to any sensations. And I'm noticing the difference between what may be a painful sensation or just a natural expansiveness and an opening that you can hold space for. center. Soles of your feet to touch, clasping your hands around and coming into Baddha Konasana. Knees to touch, clasping your knees and pulling them in. Pulling your forehead all the way in between your legs, drawing your hands around the upsides of your feet, pulling your head in all the way between your knees, cannonball. And releasing back down to the mat. Preparing for relaxation pose today. Sinking into the earth, allow your your feet to splay out from side to side, and your palms open to receive the energy of this practice today that you've integrated. If you'd like, you can place your hands on your body if that feels more supportive for you. So closing your eyes, letting your, your breath find its natural pace natural flow. Let the energy sink into the earth, grounding you, connecting you, connecting you to those natural cycles and rhythms of your body that you've generated through this practice today, connecting you to the cycles and rhythms of your breath. world around you, in the universe, letting yourself be just a bit more present within the rhythms, knowing that you always have the chance to come back to this deep relaxation, by again 
tuning into the flows of your body. Relaxing your eyelids. Relaxing the space. Relaxing, relaxing the space between every cell in your body. Relaxing your brain. Finding your forehead melting. Relaxing your eyes. Finding them softening. Let yourself become a river. Finding your breath again, readying yourself. Giving yourself some room to explore your breath. Let your breath do its own work. There's a quote that I'd like to read says, to realize your dreams, you must give them some breathing room. You do the footwork, but also stand back a little to let the universe work its magic. And that's all about going with the flow. <coughs> so letting the breath awaken you again. <coughs> or my cough. <laughs> Bringing awareness back into your body in the room. <coughs> Sending little flicks of energy into your fingertips and your feet. <coughs> Taking in a deep breath and exhaling, slowly moving over to your left side. Curling up into a ball. And when you're ready, pressing into the earth with your one palm and coming back up into a seated position. some energy here and opening up your hands and just noticing the feeling between them notice if you see any images feelings anything that comes to mind or heart between your hands send that image thought or feeling a loving intention and have gratitude for it rubbing your hands back together, generating energy, energy of love and thankfulness and gratitude. And allow this energy to help you connect. 
placing this energy over your eyes. Relaxing to your breath. And thanking yourself for coming here today to reconnect with your own flow. And I hope that you can carry the energy and intentions and flow of this practice to the rest of your life. Thank you. Sorry for the throat.